you want to pull any other items? If not, is there a motion to approve the consent agenda motion by Mr. Barbieri, second by Mrs. Andrews? Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, all opposed. Motion carries 7 0. Um, for the public who was here, everything on the consent agenda. So, Mr. Duvo, the, um, the charter application for SLAM CS1 was approved on, on, on consent and all of the other items. We only had one item pulled, and that's an administrative item. So we'll go then to new business. Dr. Fenoy, B2. Yes, B2. I recommend the board approve the advertisements of the FY19 tentative district summary budget and the appropriate tax notices in accordance with, the, with Florida statute 200.065. Motion by Dr. Robinson, second by Mrs. Brill. Any discussion? Um, can um, Dr. Fenoy, can someone just give very quickly what that timeline is for the public so that they know when the final adoptions will be done? Yes, absolutely. Mr. Burke will come forward and make that presentation. Uh, yes, good evening. Uh, tonight's action is to approve the budget for advertisement. Uh, these ads will run in the local newspaper, the Palm Beach Post, and the board is scheduled to hold their first tentative public hearing on August 1st at 5.05 p.m. in this room. And then we'll have final adoption uh, in September. I believe it's September 6th. I need to double check that date, but it's the first week of September after the, the Labor Day holiday that Wednesday at 5.05 p.m. as well. Thank you, Mr. Burke. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, all opposed. Motion carries, 7 0. Next item is FMPF1. Yes, FMPF1. Um, I recommend the board receive and accept the monthly contract and disbursement report as submitted. Is there a motion? Motion by Mrs. Andrews, second. Mr. Barbieri, Dr. Robinson, you pulled that item. Yes, my um, standing objection to the lack of significant progress here is pulled to vote against it. Any other discussion? Seeing none, we'll call the question. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries 6-1 with Dr. Robinson voting against. Next item is LAC-1. LAC-1, I recommend the board approve the tentative agreements with the Palm Beach County Police Benevolent Association effective January 1, 2018, pending ratification by PBA. It looks like there was a motion by the entire board on that one, so let the record show that all members uh, moved and all members seconded that item. Any discussion? We'll call the question. All in favor? All opposed? Congratulations. Next item is P3. Yes, P3, personnel addendum. I recommend the board approve the personnel addendum as submitted. The motion by Mrs. Andrews, second by Mrs. Brill. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll call the question. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries 6-1 with Mr. Shaw opposed. Next item, SP1. SP1, security agreements with municipal local law enforcement agencies. I recommend the board approve the proposed security agreement with local law enforcement agencies and authorize the superintendent and board chairman to execute the security agreements substantially in the form attached. Is there a motion? Motion by Mr. Barbieri, second by Mrs. Andrews. Um, Dr. Fenoy, just for the public's awareness, can you just give us a quick, um, a, just what do these two items that we'll be facing here, mm -hmm. what, is, what does this mean? Um, in our efforts to meet the mandate of the governor's office in reference to making sure that every school in Palm Beach County, uh, in Palm Beach County School District is covered by the first day of school, we have, um, in our, um, we are currently in the process of hiring and adding additional forces to our police force. I think the number right now is 75. But in the meantime, between the, the current uh, number and the, the desired state, we have worked and come to agreement with local municipalities and the sheriff's office to provide us officers in that time. This allows us, um, once we are able to hire, we can then pull the local municipalities and the sheriff out of those schools and then only staff them with school police. So this is just a stopgap. And let me say this, I'm very thankful to all the local municipalities and the sheriff, police chiefs for agreeing to work with us um, in this endeavor. 
any discussion, just one item. I'd like to request that the superintendent on behalf of the board send a letter to the, uh, to uh, the, either the mayor or the city manager of all the cities who were involved, um, a letter of appreciation from the board on their, on their help and support on this one. So, Mrs. Dr. Robinson and then Mrs. Brill. Thank you. So th these, will these agreements with the individual law enforcement agencies come back to us? Ms. Paul, will you come forward and speak to the specifics? Uh, no, ma'am. So the intent is to uh, have kind of a template to work with the law enforcement officers uh, of different municipalities and the sheriff's department. And then if we have to make minor adjustments to those agreements, then we're asking that the chairman and of course, Dr. Fenoy have the ability to sign those. Okay. To follow up. Dr. Robinson. And so my request, um, if it was not already planned, is that we be notified and given copies of those, um, those agreements as, as they are signed off on. Yes, ma'am. With highlighting changes to the template, any, anything that is different than the template itself be highlighted. So we're aware that. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Definitely. Thank you, Mrs. Brill. Thank you, and um, I completely support the idea of thank you notes to the municipalities, but just as a reminder, some of us don't have municipalities. So in that case, perhaps you can send a letter of thanks to the sheriff because he's the one that, that is involved. Thank you. Okay. Yes, so noted. Yes. Okay. Mrs. Andrews. And just a point of uh, privilege to say that I read in the paper this morning that Palm Beach uh, Gardens is so interested in helping our schools. I don't know exactly how it will work out as to whether they can, you know, actually uh, service all of the uh, schools and the gardens area. But I was quite pleased that the uh, police department of Palm Beach Gardens stepped up to the plate and said it's about all of our children everywhere. And they would be available to do whatever it took with their department to, um, to help our schools and our children. So, Ms. Uh, would you tell us how that actually works? Uh, is someone going to make a connection with them? And how will that work in yes, reference to what we're yes, talking we're about? Yes, we're working very uh, closely with our, uh, chief, our new chief of police. Uh, and he has amazing relationships with all of our municipalities and uh, the sheriff's office. So we, will, we talk to them constantly. And we will continue uh, to, to communicate with them. And by all means, uh, the, the more the better. So we're very appreciative, as the superintendent said, uh, with you know, the fact that they have just embraced uh, this new law. And uh, I, you know, it's just amazing to me. So I want to thank them again, as you know, obviously the sheriff's department, too, for just their graciousness as we've moved forward with this plan that really was executed in a very short period of time. So thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Barbieri. Uh, Mr. Superintendent, if I may ask Ms. Paul, um, I understand that all of the cities in the county have entered or are willing to enter agreements with us except for Boynton Beach. Can you tell us why? Are they just short on manpower? Or what is the reason why Boynton Beach is not willing to work with us on securing the schools? Well, I, I don't think it's uh, that clear cut. You know, of course, they have to uh, look at their requirements similar to what the sheriff's department has done. And so we'll continue to talk to them. And I know our, our chief, uh, uh, Chief Kitzrow has reached out to them. And so they'll, they'll work something out. I, I don't think that's going to be an absolute that they won't participate. If they don't participate, we'll, we'll make we'll sure. We'll be okay. Okay, but we just need to make sure we have agreements with them like the other cities on how uh, an emergency on our campuses in the city of Boynton would be handled. Since Without they a doubt, and, and they do provide that uh, relationship already. So this is a little different, but we'll work with them. All right. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Seeing none, we'll call the question. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carry 7-0. Next item. SP2, agreement uh, for law enforcement services with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. I recommend the board approve the proposed amendment for law enforcement services with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and authorize the superintendent and the board chairman to execute the agreement substantially in the form attached. Motion by Mrs. Brill, second by Mrs. Andrews. So any discussion? We'll call a question, all in favor, all opposed. Motion carries 7-0. Next item, F1. Pardon? Oh, oh, that's right. Speakers. 
I was getting ahead of myself on that one. Um, I was notified at the beginning of the meeting that we have, um, th that we've identified five speakers who have indicated they would like to speak and represent all of the speakers who are listed um, on the issue of the referendum. So trying to manage this, um, we've got like 95 people listed. So um, I think that if this is indeed the uh, position that uh, people had taken, then I'd like to call those five people. And then after those five people have spoken, if there's anybody who had uh, was not part of being represented by this delegation of five people, then I'll call on them. So here are the five people, Tom Sutterford, Sutterford